Attention! Although my content is usually family-friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Justice for All is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system, and as such, the videos in this Let's Play may contain blood, mild violence, and or suggestive themes. So, viewer discretion is advised. Grab your cotton candy and peanuts, everybody, because we're at the circus! Well, actually, we're not. We're at court. We're at court with circus <laughs> freaks. That's not nice, Marty. Some of them are nice, and some of them are freaks. Ironically, he might be the nicest one, despite the fact that we think he's the murderer. Perhaps. Also, Marty still has not pieced together. It, no. Which is, it's I'm fine, don't get me wrong. I just, when, once I learned that the bust was the murder weapon, I'm like, oh, now it all clicks. All right, he's like, I bet I could be something besides the bust. He's jealous of Max's amazing um, flying act where he's not flying. I think that's the main thing is like, Max flies, whatever. Like, this dude's an acrobat. He's like trained really hard. He's got muscles of like steel still, even after six months. So, like, he like, also had more. weights in his room, so he clearly still lifted weights. Yeah, I guess that's true. Even though our money, the monkey is way stronger than we thought. Maybe. Have you ever lifted up the bust before? No, I've never actually lifted it up with my own two hands. But I should get to it, don't you think? I can't let money outdo me on this. Money? That crazy monkey has lifted Max's bust before? Hmm. Please continue with your testimony, Mr. Deanling. I have a strong upper body from working as an acrobat when his legs were injured. So what have you been doing to keep in shape? Well, honestly, I've given up on training. I don't have any plans to return to the trapeze or the tightrope. What are you gonna do? You don't say. But, no offense, I'm not worried about losing to you in a race or anything. Wow. Neither am I, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I wouldn't lose either, Slowpoke! I mean, Nick. Whoa, whoa, whoa! How did the discussion turn to me all of a sudden? I suppose you could say that I'm stronger than the average bear. Yeah, boo boo! Stronger yeah. than the average bear! Lifting the bust and looking out of the window would have been impossible. Well, let's hear more about this. And why is that? Because if I were to do that, I'd end up falling out the window myself. I still haven't gotten much feeling back in my legs yet. Hmm. So you couldn't have thrown that bust out of the window. You don't have to stand up to throw anything out the window, unless if the window's really high up. And he's already with his wheelchair as tall as a child. Well, no, here's the thing. He can't look down the window. Because in order to do that, he'd have to get out of his chair. There's no way he could have exerted that kind of force on the lower body. How long do you think your recovery will take? Hmm. You have to remember that the nerves were severed. I'm currently undergoing some extremely intensive rehabilitation. But it's still going to take a while before I'm back to 100%. Let me remind you of another very important point. If the witness was carrying the bust, he would not be able to see outside below the window. That makes it impossible for me to have known the location of the Rainmaster's head. Why do you say it would be impossible? Allow me to explain. You accept that if I was carrying the bust, I couldn't see out below the window? Thus, there's no way that I would know the location of the Rainmaster's head. Well, I suppose you've got a point. Hey, Nick. Huh? What if you turn things around? Maybe if you think of it sort of like this. If he knew the location of the Rainmaster's head, then he could drop the bust. That does make sense. If only I could prove somehow that Acro knew the location of the Rainmaster's head without looking down. Thump? Was it the thump or was it Mo jumping for joy? <laughs> Mo heard the thump after he was in bed. Oh. I think I've already explained this thing sufficiently. Whatever. <laughs> Are you like, I don't like this guy. He's, I will say, considering he's like, perhaps evil, he's very nice-ish. He's the only one in the he's circus who had anything spoken. nice to say about Max. That's something. Yeah. Well, besides Regina. Whatever. Well, Regina well, likes oops. everyone. Akira was strong enough to lift up the bust. The main problem is how could he have aimed for the Rainmaster's head? Hmm. I wonder if he used some kind of a tool to aim for the Rainmaster. That's the ticket, Nick! Show him what you've got! 
I have to be careful. I have to find something that fits perfectly with the case. Hmm. I don't remember us finding any sort of tool. But maybe we overlooked something. I forgot to uh, press on the last one. That's probably important. If all you had to do was drop it, then it wouldn't have been a problem at all. If all I had to do was drop it, you're right. I could have done that. However, there's no way I could score a direct hit with the remaster's head. Hmm. So that kind of makes your theory a bit pointless, doesn't it, Mr. Wright? Akro is strong enough to lift up the bust. <laughs> this is a tricky testimony if you okay. don't know what to do. Okay. That makes me feel slightly better. Yeah, this is a tough one. Okay. Um, not that one. Is it that statement that we have to press? Um, no. Or was it the... This is the one, one that Maya's like, how about we turn our thinking around? Yeah, okay, so let's present evidence on that. Okay. Um, I'm gonna look at all the pictures, to be honest. Okay. Bro I haven't looked at those in a while. So he's right against the wall. Is he? Right. Okay. He's also hunched over the box. Okay. Good to know. Okay, back. Uh, so cat, Ringmaster's papers, the promo sure, poster. Sure, look at the promo poster. <laughs> I'm shirtless. <laughs> yes, nope. that's and nice. And in the most ridiculous platformers ever, the broken bottle, the circus map. <laughs> <laughs> so if it was there, yeah, okay. Congratulations, you won the peanut challenge. <laughs> I forgot about the peanut challenge. Um, okay, it doesn't matter. Money doesn't matter. Leon doesn't matter at this point. Uh. 10 15 to the back of the head. Yes. Okay. Not not the top of his head, so. So if you see the back of his head. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he had already started flying by the time that they hit him. Who? The person. The, so and so, someone flew, and he's like, whoa, someone's flying. <laughs> and then it hits him in the back of the head because he's away, and then he just slumps down. But he was already slumped down and dead when the. Um, oh, when the. When yeah, the I wouldn't flying. have been the same person, that's right. Okay. Locked by a small key. Yeah. That was inside of the box. Yep. <laughs> I won the trophy, and then there were all these skatingly clad women right next to me. <laughs> Bunny girls? Maybe. Um, okay. The, the note. note. I want to see this. So Acro put this in Regina's pocket. Meet me at 10 at the Lodging House Plaza. So we would have been able to figure out mm -hmm. about when he was showing up, at least. It wouldn't have helped with where his position was, mm -hmm. but it would have helped at least a little bit if you were like, okay, I'm armed and ready for this. And then the photo of the bus. Can we turn it around or anything? No. no? That's only in Rise from the Ashes. Okay, my best bet then is that note. You think it's the note? Yeah. Your Honor, what do you think about the witness's statement? Uh, I'm not sure I follow you. It clearly, uh, contradicts the, um, I thought. You don't sound very sure, Mr. Wright. Objection denied. Dang it. I don't think that won me any points with the judge. We aren't winning any points with the judge. <laughs> no, we really aren't. And no, just so people know, no, I'm not being a huge baby about not taking damage. Trust me, if you don't take damage, there's a hilarious thing you can get at the end of the case. <laughs> okay. Money, then? Maybe money could figure out where the Ringmaster was and then, like, Be like, somehow, Ook! Yeah. And he's like, I understand somehow, that, Ook! <laughs> well, they live together. Maybe you figure out the monkey, like, different <laughs> Ooks or different... I don't know. No. No? <laughs> I figured. Okay, um... So look at it this way. How would he have known where the Ringmaster's head was? I thought it would have been for the... I don't know. I thought it would have been the note because he was like, hey, meet me here at this plaza. Yeah, but he could have been anywhere in the plaza. How did he know the Ringmaster was going to be right below his window? I don't know. Why did the Ringmaster go right below his window in the first place? I actually don't remember. Oh, you don't know? I don't remember or don't know. Alright. Was he trying to give it to him? Acro, 
You didn't really need to lean out of the window, did you? What are you driving at, Mr. Wright? You already knew ahead of time where the ringmaster's head was going to be. Quite precisely, I may add. You're silly hinting at things as pointless, Mr. Phoenix Wright! Enough stalling! How about you show us some evidence? But... but I did such a good job hinting! <laughs> yes, yes, yes! Hurry up and explain things, Mr. Wright! Maybe you should take a look at this. The key point here is the wooden box. The same wooden box that the victim was found hunched over? The same. The question is, who placed the wooden box here? Who? I thought he was carrying it there. When Ben and company saw the ringmaster, they didn't see him oh, holding the box. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Which means that this wooden box was already placed at the scene of the crime. I have to admit that your theory makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot more sense. The moment that the bust came falling down was exactly the same moment that the ringmaster lifted up this wooden box. Like he found it, okay. Which means that the answer to all these questions is now crystal clear. You, you me! If the bust were to fall upon the point marked out by the wooden box, there would be no way that it could miss the head of the victim. Wouldn't it be weird though, if like, he was like, oh, I'm just gonna be, uh, testing this, uh, ball falling out of my window, and then I need to mark this, and they're like, what are you doing, Acro? <laughs> Nothing! <weird."> yeah. <laughs> really? I feel like that'd be very hard to test without it being suspicious. <laughs> oh, I remember the other day! He literally Acro just had to put it right below his window. That's it. Yeah, I guess so. Order, order, order! This is unbelievable! Finally. Wait, <laughs> finally! Wait, oh no. No, that's finally. You're good. Sorry, my screen is just dirty. It looked like an eye to finally. me. Finally! Finally! <laughs> Some of these loose ends are starting to tie themselves up. Now we just gotta keep going, and there's only one way to go from here. Forward. So the next question I have is who placed that wooden box at the scene? It was Mr. Dean Lane, of course. He connected it to a rope, and then all he had to do was lower it down. No! No! Allow me to whip some sense into you. Mr. Phoenix Wright! Ow! 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 The Ringmaster's head could have been anywhere when he lifted the box. That's why the box was so specially made. Specially made? Indeed. It had the most peculiar feature. The size of the box, the weight of the box, or the contents of the box. The size of the box is whatever. The weight of the box was weird. And the contents were even weirder, so I'm not quite sure which one it is. Do you recall what was inside the wooden box? There was only a small bottle of pepper, wasn't there? Get on with it. Well... What is the matter? The cat got your tongue? I don't see any relationship between the location of his head and the box's contents. I think I might have outfought myself. No, Nick! You didn't think enough! Mr. Wright, do you still maintain the box had some sort of special feature? Indeed. Both of these work, actually. Oh, weight makes more sense. So let's try some. The box was a remarkable size. Size? Exactly. I think you can tell from the picture that the wooden box was very large. To lift it up, one would have been required to squat. Meaning that one would have to have taken it up with both arms, right? Moreover, the box is quite heavy. It weighs in the neighborhood of 20 pounds. Yeah, and then that just kind of merged in here. The box had a remarkable weight. Weight? According to the court record, it weighs 20 pounds. Just to lift this wooden box up would have required... Oh, I see! One would have had to squat down, then lift up with their body, wouldn't you say? That's exactly what I was trying to point out. The box is also very large. The box also has carrying handles on either side, doesn't it? That is correct. To lift up the box, you'd have to squat down. Which means that no matter who you are, your head would be in approximately the same place. Fool! Meanwhile, he's just like, I am the picture of the calmness. I kind of like that about him, though. He See, he's like the only witness who doesn't gone, he freak out. He must have out. gone to the spa with Von Karma. <laughs> regularly. I feel like if you go to the spa, chances are Von Karma's going to be there. Or not now anymore. Not so. now anymore. <laughs> Does she even I'm bother? I'm breaking out of jail so I could go to my mud scrum. <laughs> Does she even bother to listen to me anymore? 
I've heard what you've had to say. I must admit, I'm shocked at your imaginative skills. Whatever. Y you... Did you drop it? Did you drop the bust onto the ringmaster? What are you talking about? Even if I had wanted to do such a thing, I couldn't. Why? What? He's like, I was in bed. Mr. Wright, do you recall where the original location of this bust was? Yeah, I remember. I remember. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> uh, I kind of forget. N Nick, don't tell me you're losing your memory already. No, 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 no. Let's not get carried away. Hey, stick out your head a little. I got just the thing. A Maya kick. Enough of that. No horseplay in this courtroom. And no kicking the defense attorney. Maya's just like, yeah, pew, pew, pew. According to the court record, the bus disappeared from the cafeteria. <laughs> of course I remember. It was on top of the table in the cafeteria. Hmm, then what happened to it? I'd like you to remember one important fact, Mr. Wright. I could not possibly leave the lodging house by myself. Ah, that means... You understand what I mean, don't you? I may very well have been able to drop the bust from my room. However... How would I have gotten the bust from the cafeteria to my room? That's the one thing about Akko, he flat out admits, he's like, yeah, some of your reasoning is right, I could have done this, but, like, yeah. there's a problem here. You see, Mr. Phoenix Wright, explain that. Don't forget, you said there was no accomplice. No! Tell us exactly how the witness would have carried the bust from the cafeteria. Yep, we definitely have a problem here. But this is no place to get perplexed. I've got to get my wits about me and prove how things happen once and for all. The only thing that I can think of is there was the morning where they were like, Hey, you're stupid! <laughs> and they were like hitting each other back and forth. Yep, that's and, what happened. And Ambrose just like, Alright, well, here I go. And then he just reels off. <laughs> yeah, he couldn't go to the cafeteria, though. Everything has to be brought to him, Well, basically. maybe well, Regina brought it to him. Wait, that would be weird, too. No. Hey, Regina, can you take this bus for me? <laughs> sure! Sure! <laughs> She did put the note up on the mm -hmm. bulletin board. All right, Maybe but he didn't. He didn't know that though. When he when we told him, like, yeah, this was on the cafeteria. He's like, what? True. All right, Mr. Wright, let's hear your explanation. How did the witness get the bus from the cafeteria back to his room? All right. Um. It was next page. Dumb. The monkey. It actually is the monkey. Yes! <laughs> yes! He used the karma! <laughs> Here is the evidence that proves how he carried it. What do you think about this evidence, Mr. Karma? <laughs> what do you what do I think about this evidence or what do you think about this evidence, witness? What do you think about this evidence, Mr. Wright? Hmm. No! Here's <laughs> one for me too! <laughs> Here, I thought the bust was the deadly weapon. <laughs> I didn't. I never realized that it, the Maya kick was a thing. It's like the Maggie kick from the first case. Oh yeah, Maggie kick. A monkey? Everyone knows money. He loves shiny objects of any size. And he literally said he could carry it. So, <laughs> for instance, he stole the ventriloquist's ring. So, are you saying that the witness had a monkey steal the bust? Of course he didn't order the monkey to steal it. The monkey stole it on his own and then brought it back home. Home? Money lives in Acro's room. Acro's room?! But the bust was bronze, wasn't it? Bronze isn't all that shiny! Maybe you should put the whip down sometimes and read the court record. My, those are some very nice cards he's holding. Yes, and they are made of platinum, which is very shiny. Ah! <laughs> Acro? Money is a strong monkey, right? It'd be easy for him to bring the bus back to your room. He's gonna be like, no, he's not. If he wasn't able to handle that himself, I'd be on the market for a new roommate. See, I do like that about Acro. He flattered me. He's, yeah, monkey could do that. Order, order! I said order! Miss Von Karma! Where is the bust in question at this moment? Um, 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 I, um, I don't know. We're searching for it as we speak. Hmm, this is a strange turn of events. If that monkey did not steal the bust, then what happens to this case? Well, in that event, something else must have been used as the murder weapon. Well, hmm. 
Or maybe this bust was the murder weapon, but it was used by accident. That's possible. Maybe Akra saw Money's mountain of stolen goods and fought to use one of them. Anyways, I think we've more than proven one critical fact. Namely, that it was entirely possible that Akra was the murderer. Nimon! Mr. Wright's argument was so circular, I'm still a bit dizzy. However, his argument does hold water. There's no denying that. No! Don't seem so flamboozled, especially by this fraud of an attorney. Fraud? You've forgotten the absolute most important thing, Mr. Phoenix Wright. And what is that? You should know. You forgot that your fraud of a magical client was spotted at the scene of the crime! Ah! There is no reason to doubt the clown's testimony. Never mind that- never mind- <laughs> I never thought I'd ever hear someone say that. <laughs> <laughs> never mind the fact that we're- yeah, we're, we're just gonna scrap this all from the record, because this is- <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yeah. That's true! How do you respond to that, Mr. Wright? Nick, don't let her beat you now! I won't. This is my chance to turn this trial around. When the murder occurred, there were two people at the scene of the crime. One was the victim, Russell Berry, and the other was the murderer himself. Answer this and only this, Mr. Phoenix Wright. The clown saw the murderer. Who was it then? So who who was the guy who flew up in the sky and who did Mo see? <laughs> who was the guy that flew up in the sky? I don't know! <laughs> That's the name of the episode. <laughs> um, look at the profiles. I want to see. Yuck, yuck, yuck! I mean, honestly, it could be. It really could be. I don't know, maybe... So you're saying that Mo is lying and Akra's like, Oh, I heard Mo lied about that. I'll lie too! Uh, maybe. And Mo's just like, Wow, that worked out! Maybe. Well, I, I don't know if it is Max. Max, well, Max said, said he was in the Rainmaster's room. Right. I don't think that's that. And he stuck that. to that story. And, and there were no Cyclops I was about, about to say, that. there were no Cyclops. Can't be Maya. Can't be Mon Karma. Can't be Dick. Um, so, you know, so... It couldn't be a dick who did it. No, it couldn't be. Um, Bat's in the hospital, but it'd be hysterical. <laughs> Acro was... were saying threw the thing out the window, so it couldn't be him. Right. Um, it'd be funny if it was Ben. Ben suddenly has the power... Do you want to go with Ben, or do you want to go with Ben suddenly Mo? has the power to fly. I would go with Mo. Alright. Nope. Take that! Just for fun. What is this supposed to mean? Yes! What is that supposed to mean? Do you mind explaining that to me as well? You're getting bara barraged? Yeah, barraged. <laughs> With questions, Nick. Why is that? It's because you're on the wrong track! Oh. When the murder occurred, I'm going to keep repeating myself until you go back. <laughs> Alright. Well, if it wasn't that... Uh, back to profiles. The clown saw the murderer. Who was it? I'm pretty sure this is the part that's going to turn the trial around for you. Was it Regina? I don't know. I don't know who... You seriously don't know who it was? I'm thinking really hard. Because I don't think it's Max. I'm going to no. be honest. I don't think it is. It could be Russell. He could have taken the stuff. And then... But but Mo said he saw Russell and the guy fly up in the sky. Right, which makes me think it's one of those two losers, then. Or two people. Maybe it could be the puppet? Trilo? Trilo. I, I already said he could be, like, moving on his own. That'd be weird. <laughs> I, I don't think so. Uh, Alright, if, if you don't know... You, I'd say Regina. You say Regina? Hey now. What is this supposed to mean? Uh, it means that I did the wrong evidence again. Ben? Ben Kenobi? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense for it to be Ben, though. Oh, it's not. It's not. Who is it? Is it Max? Do you not know? Go back, go back, go back. It can't be Afro. Afro can't move. Is it Bat? Because he was, like, dying. And He's in was... the hospital. I don't know. Okay, but you don't know. It's not a person. Oh, it's not a person? He saw the bust. The bust? Is, uh, what? He saw Max's bust. Ow! What? I asked who was the other person Mo saw on the scene. The evidence has nothing to do with that question. Objection! Au contraire, mon frere. It does indeed have something to do with the question. Mo said that he saw Max's silhouette. 
Are you even kidding me? But he did not actually see the man himself. Are it wasn't a human me? being he saw. But he, okay, did Acro steal all of his costume, throw it on the bus, and just be like, ah! "We're about to get to that." That doesn't make <laughs> any sense. How is that possible? It's simple, really. No, it's not. What Mo actually saw that night was Max's bust. This doesn't make any sense. It's about to. What are you talking about? Have you tried using your brain at all in this case? That silhouette he saw just happened to be wearing a cloak! There's no reason why you couldn't attach a cloak to the bust. Or a cloak like that could easily get snagged on the bust if they came into contact. Idiot! Who in their right mind would put a cloak on a bust? It doesn't matter who put it on the bust. Just wait a minute now, Mr. Wright. Who put the cloak on the bust? That question is of the utmost importance to this case, don't you agree? <laughs> don't oh, caught me. <laughs> so let's have it, Mr. Wright. Who put the cloak on the bust? This is... This doesn't make any sense! How does it not make sense? The bust is too heavy! It can't rocket into the sky! And you can't attach... <laughs> oh, that's what you're out the about. The only thing that makes sense is that the hat fell off. If the hat was on it as it fell, and then the hat fell off of him, but the cloaks... Okay. <laughs> Why? Okay, now I understand why you're so the, confused. Who put the cloak on the bus? I don't know. Was it Acro? That's the obvious choice. Hmm, I wonder, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Didn't the defendant wear his cloak the entire time he was at practice? Uh... So then how did this person get a hold of this cloak? Well... Furthermore, how would this person have gotten the cloak onto the bust, I wonder? Because this person was not spotted at the scene. I'm... I'm sorry. When she's so nice about telling me I'm wrong, it hurts even more. Ow! The famous Von Karma carrot and whip approach. Carrot? <laughs> Parents. Mm. Who put the cloak on the bus? <laughs> you probably it have no It sounds like clue. something that Larry would do, but I know he's not here. Okay. There is no one else out there. So at the scene, we had the ringmaster. Mo was in Acro. his room, and Acro was in his room. Acro dumped the bus with his entire costume out the window. We just tried that, and Max had his costume with him when he was... I had practice. But Max didn't go up to the scene of the crime. Right, so but think about what happened. Max and the Ringmaster went back to their room. Yeah. Max, Ringmaster... Max took off his costume. Yeah. Ringmaster had it? What? But the Ringmaster's dead! He's already dead from getting hit in the face! <laughs> Too bad. The fool! Him? You are saying it was the victim himself? Russell Berry? That's what I'm saying. He... I mean, the victim himself... Place the cloak on the bus? Place the cloak isn't exactly the right way of putting it. Then what would be the right way of putting it, Mr. Wright? Explain yourself! Nick, do you really have a handle on all of this? I'm fine, Maya. I'm finally putting all the pieces together. Good for you, because I'm not! <laughs> this doesn't make any well, sense! Well, we're basically about to spell out the cr how the crime happened. There's okay. really only one picture I can paint anyways. Alright, so you want to know what really happened that night? Let's step back in time. Acro used a rope to lower the wooden box onto the scene. Yeah, whatever. Then he attached that rope to the bust, and dangled the bust out of his bedroom window directly above the wooden box. At the same time, the ringmaster told Max to wait in his room and went to the scene. Of course, at the time, the ringmaster was wearing Max's costume. But why? Perhaps he didn't want anyone to recognize him that night. Or it was cold. But just as he feared, he was spotted at the entrance of the lodging house. By none other than a ventriloquist and his partner. Why would he not want to be recognized? He might have just put it on because it was really cold outside. He has a good coat, I'm guessing. But anyway. That's ambiguous why that's he a, did it. Whatever. Anyway, continue. When the ringmaster arrived at the scene, he bent over to lift the wooden box. And that's when Acro took his chance and released the rope. Oh my gosh. Now this is when the magic happens. At the very instant that the bust hit the victim... What? How? What? What happened? It 
it slammed on his head and it knocked the cloak off of him and onto the bust. But the cloak's tied on him. No, it's not. He literally just put it on like an overcoat. He didn't even put it... There were no sleeves or anything. Okay. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, you wait just a second there, Mr. Phoenix Wright. As much as you try, as much as you scheme, this just isn't true! It can't be! It's still a little early to be getting so upset, Miss Von Karma. This circus isn't over yet. <sighs> what? Oh my! It just happened to hit the cloak! With the shock, of, shock! With the shock of the impact, it threw up the cloak and it got snagged onto the bust. Where would it get snagged on the bus? The cards? Oh, the cards. Okay. That's when the sound was heard by a witness, and he took a look out of his window. That witness was, of course, Lawrence Moe Curls the Clown, the best witness ever. <laughs> Not really. When Moe looked out of his window, the cloak had already snagged onto the bus. Now, having completed the crime, Acro naturally went about pulling up the murder weapon. Of course, oh. he had no idea that Moe saw the bus being raised with the cloak dangling on it. Primarily because in his wheelchair, he couldn't see out of his window. Okay. So he just kept pulling the bust up. And the hat fell off. Yeah, so the real hat fell off the remaster, and Moe was like, He had the hat on the whole time! Because it was a bronze hat. And that is how the magical murderer disappearing into the sky came to be. This is... Without a doubt, one of the weirdest and <laughs> dumbest murder, like, conspiracy makes it. No, it's really good, it's just... You know, are you wondering how he could have predicted that would happen? He didn't predict it would happen. That's part of it. But, the odds of it getting snagged? Okay, to be fair, he, the bust was going ridiculously fast, and when it hit the remaster, it basically slammed him, and then the coat... The cloak, being, like, really lightweight, would have obviously flown right. up. Right, it would have flown up. I was just imagining, like, it could miss, it could hit just one, and then there's, like, a weird card hanging out the side. Right. Oh my gosh. Now you know how the murder actually took place. <sighs> and now you will know who was able to drop the murder weapon from above the scene. Acro, it could only have been you. <laughs> He's also like, this is the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> yeah, Acro. <laughs> Preach it. Acro's be been playing mind games with all of us. He sure has. But he has come to the end of his rope now. So? What now? Wait, what the heck? All of a sudden the sound got weird on this. Yeah. I wonder if like someone's using power or something. It, like, well, it's back to normal today. now. Okay. You've graced us with a rather long-winded tale. But do you have any evidence to prove that your fairy tale is true? Evidence? In this court, only two things matter. The power of evidence and the power of my whip. I gotta be honest, I actually really like Von Karma. <laughs> like, really? I did not like her at all I don't, in this game. <laughs> okay, I don't like how she's beating up people, but I kind of like how she's like, Hey, loser, who just came up with the most ridiculous plan ever, you better prove this. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget the power of my gavel as well. Mr. Wright, the prosecution brings up a good point. Can we see some evidence? Nick, they say they want evidence. I just explained how there can only be one possible murder weapon method, but there is still something unusual about Moe's eyewitness account. Unusual? A contradiction, actually. Okay, then. Use that and get out of this jam. Okay, that's so weird. Like... The light above us is flickering slightly, and whenever it flickers, the the music gets weird. Right. Um, that's why I'm wondering, like, what? what's going on. Yeah, I don't know. That's enough talking amongst yourselves. <laughs> Meta. They know two people are playing this game. <laughs> Proceed, Mr. Wright. Creepy. Present some evidence to the court that backs your claims. Oh, oh, that reminds me. Uh, one of the guys who I've seen do at Ace Attorney videos, when he did the first case of this, you know, Richard Wellington was always like, Oh, so you just like, blah, 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 like talks like a whole yeah. bunch. At one point, like he like the guy who was playing was like making fun of me and he's like, Oh, well yeah, sure, you can just go ahead and we talk about blah, 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 blah. And he does like this huge one winded rant and then like, literally right after that he clicked like the next button and Richard Wellington was like, Are you finished? I'd like to proceed if that's alright. <laughs> <laughs> it great. was like perfect. I want hard proof that you have unraveled the trick to this magic case. Okay. Alright, so do you remember the last contradiction in most testimony? that we couldn't suss out. Besides, obviously, the fact that the guy flew. 
which we have here. He flew! Um. Next page. Was it the pepper? No. No. It wasn't the pepper. The note. Oh, the note. Well, I guess not. He's like, <laughs> let me kiss my bird. Try again. Well, I remember the note was like really suspicious. The if they would have been silent for two more seconds, I would have screamed. Nick, they say they want evidence. I just explained how there can only be one possible method. Hard proof. The proof is. <laughs> you probably won't guess this. Probably not. We haven't. Because they don't give us most testimony. What about the hat? Well, because Mo was like, the hat never fell off the whole time! The problem is Max's free symbols. Yeah. You know, the silk hat, the cloak, and the white roses. Those symbols were a problem numerous times during yesterday's proceedings. <laughs> Yesterday, there were two contradictions in Mo's testimony. The silk hat was one, and the white roses were the other. But the theory I just presented explains all of these contradictions. Shut up! Max's silk hat was found at the scene of the crime. However, remember what Mo said yesterday. He testified that the criminal he saw fleeing the scene was wearing a silk hat. There's only one explanation for that. The silk hat that Mo saw was actually the bust. So what you said. Yeah, I forgot that they had made us do this part. Makes sense if you look at it that way, then he did see the silk hat. Well, sort of. Objection! Fine, you've got one, but what about the other contradiction? The other contradiction? Remember what that ventriloquist said in court? He said that he witnessed white roses on Max's chest that night. But the clown's testimony doesn't match. The clown said that there were no white roses. I'd like to see you try and explain that one away. Can you do it, Nick? Of course! I can explain all of it. What was that? Please recall the instant when the clo cloak snagged onto the bust. The most unbelievable way. If the cloak snagged onto the bust, what happened to the white roses? I'm really more sad that the ringmaster's dead than anything else. Yeah. You used to hate him, you're kill the lion, he's the worst. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and that sucks. That's like, every but everyone in this case I hate for one reason or another. Like, oh, like really? small, for small things. Dog's the lion. Yeah, That's thank right. you! Mo is great! I don't know why anyone hates Mo, but like... Okay, well yeah, I yeah, understand Regina, that. Regina, I only hate because she's so innocent. She's like, I've never left the in circus. The circus. In circus. The circus. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's just like, I've never been anywhere, and that's not really her fault. <laughs> right. Uh, but then she's also just really weird, like, I yeah. want to marry a puppy! Okay, I'll admit, Ben and Trilo ben are and not Trilo amazing, are and Max has some personality Max has flaws. some, uh, And Acro I have my own issues stuff. with. But like, the ringmaster, after... After hearing everyone about it, even the dude who killed him, <laughs> he was like, I'm like, okay, he's a decent person. Just yeah. Like that. And once I heard what happened with said lion, I'm also like, okay, yeah, good call on that. Okay, but still. Do you get it yet? If the cloak got snagged onto the front of the bust, it means that the white roses would end up on the back of the bust. <laughs> which explains why Mo didn't see it. The white roses were not visible because they were on the back side of the bus. Order! Order! Wouldn't that be the end? I mean, there's no room for doubt, pretty much. This is quite the shocking state of affairs. Mr. Wright's theory still sounds a bit absurd to me. However, let's just keep going down this road for a while and see where it leads. Let's do this, Nick! Then maybe Von Karma will finally throw in the towel! Never. <laughs> Akro is still ridiculously calm. <laughs> well, so much for that theory. Mr. Wright, do you mind? What up? What is it? You took the time to research our circus, didn't you? Well, yes, I did. Is there something making you think that I didn't? If you did, then maybe you'll understand why I think you're off track. Um, why is that? Motive. This witness feels an incredible debt of gratitude toward the Ringmaster. Anyone with any relation to the circus is well aware of this. 
I think I already know his motive right here. Because, um, number one, stupid lion, <laughs> who is lovely, but as stupid in this case, hurts his legs. That's a problem. He's also the ringmaster's lion and Regina's lion. Number two, brother is basically dating Regina. That doesn't end well. His brother's in a coma because of the circus. Super mad at that and mad at how he has to do re rehabilitation. And he's mad at the ringmaster for that. And I think he'd be more mad at Regina than anything, to be honest. Well, and we've seen he doesn't like Regina. Right, much. he doesn't. But I feel like he's just mad at the ringmaster then. I feel, that. okay, alright. I feel like. <sighs> Thus, there is absolutely no way someone like this would kill the ringmaster. It doesn't matter. I proved he did. Yeah, and you <laughs> that's proved the, that, that is also no the one. one else did or could. That That's the one thing, but that's not just this case. This is a lot of the game it's where it's like, oh, I proved beyond a shadow of the death that this person did it. But what was their motive? It's like, um, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do. Guilty. <laughs> Hmm. All this for a dude with pink hair. Your Honor, I'd like you to hear Acro's story. Learn about his relationship with the Ringmaster and his life up until now. What would we do? There's no doubting that Acro deeply respected the Ringmaster. Acro's motive. Hmm. No one really had a motive. That's the problem right. with this. It seems that this case isn't over yet. Very well. However, I feel this is a good place to take a break. I will listen to the rest of Mr. Deanling's testimony after recess. But we're done! We should oh, be! Oh, we, we still have at least one or two episodes after this. Oh my gosh. But why? We proved that this could totally be it! <laughs> it's weird Japanifornian court system. Ugh. This court will now take a ten minute recess. To be continued in the next episode. And this is still weird to me. Right. I feel like the only part of this that I don't like is when Acro showed up. Yeah, that's kind that's of the same thing with me. The only thing I hate is I'm like, okay, this dude. Which is okay. So you and I have the polar opposite opinion his, that everyone else had. His personality like... is birds, and he's <laughs> handicapped. That is his personality. <laughs> and... You heard it here first. But our opinion is completely the opposite. Everyone else is like, this case is garbage until Acro shows up. I don't know. I'm why. like, what? I hope you guys like this a bit. Yeah. Because this is. A <laughs> This is fun, and I've liked a lot of this. If, if anything, I'm almost like, this is how it was... If this is how it happened, I'm disappointed. <laughs> I'm Yeah. I liked Link's theory about how Trilo was the real murder weapon. Better. That's what I thought it was. <laughs> oh, whatever. Tune in Throw next time. The There's a chance that we can get through the whole rest of it in one video. But if so, it'll be a long video. So, look forward to that. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.